Gold might be headed towards $7,000 sooner than expected. Since 2009, central banks have been buying gold steadily, and the rising gold price has increased gold's share of global international reserves, reducing the dominance of fiat currencies. By the end of 2023, gold had surpassed the euro in reserves, and the next currency in line to be challenged is the U.S. dollar. Financial analysts often focus on foreign exchange reserves, excluding gold and starting from the euro's introduction in 1999. These charts show the dollar's share of total reserves, gradually falling from a peak of 72% in 2001 to 58% in 2023, with no single currency challenging the dollar. However, if we include gold and extend the timeline back further, a different story emerges. By combining various sources, we can see the distribution of reserve currencies from 1899 to 1935, both fiat and gold, and get a complete picture starting from 1950. This broader view reveals the historical balance between gold and fiat currencies. It shows that gold, not the dollar, has traditionally backed the international monetary system. Gold dominated the international reserves even when sterling was considered the world's reserve currency before the dollar. In a long-term chart focusing on gold and the dollar, the dollar's dominance appears less absolute. This makes the case for gold going to $7,000 stronger. The chart indicates that the dollar the dollar's share of total reserves fell to 48% in 2023 due to a declining trust in fiat currencies amid asset bubbles, escalating wars, and inflation fears. Meanwhile, gold has been gaining ground. Luke Groman, founder of Forest for the Trees, FFTT, shares the same view. He predicts big changes by 2030. He says U.S. Treasuries will be dumped as global reserves, causing gold prices to triple. Groman believes that the U.S. dollar, currently widely overvalued, will be repriced driving these changes. He explained that the U.S. is intentionally abandoning economic policies of the past 40 years, impacting U.S. Treasuries, the dollar, gold, and Bitcoin. In recent decades, the U.S. has focused on exporting treasury bonds, but struggled to export other goods. This is now changing. Key figures like Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan indicate a shift away from exporting treasuries to exporting tangible goods. However, this requires a weaker dollar, with gold prices playing a crucial role. Groman compared Yellen's actions to President Nixon's decision to close the gold window, highlighting the significance of this shift. He believes the U.S. Treasury bond will lose its status as the world's primary reserve asset, leading to a repricing of the dollar. However, he doesn't think that the USD will be replaced as the global reserve currency. Since 2014, the U.S. Treasury market has been losing its share as a primary global reserve asset. Global central banks have sold $400 billion worth of treasuries and bought $600 billion worth of gold. This trend is driven by a growing gap between the supply of U.S. Treasury bonds and the demand from global central banks. Gold has seen solid gains this year, up 12.5% year-to-date, and is expected to continue rising toward 2030. Groman noted that many factors, including actions by BRICS countries and policy shifts by the U.S. government and the Federal Reserve, support this trend. Treasuries are no longer considered risk-free by central banks. Actions like the U.S. government's seizure of Russian assets have made other countries wary. Groman also stated that Chinese yuan is not trusted as a reserve option and China is not eager to open its capital account or issue debt. As a result, gold is becoming a primary reserve asset globally, replacing treasury bonds. This shift is causing spikes in the prices of the S&P 500, NASDAQ, gold, and Bitcoin. To put this potential rally in perspective, Groen believes that gold's move higher has just begun. He estimates that gold needs to triple in price to return to its historical position as the primary reserve asset. Gold.